good day everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be taking on how to cut a perfect neckline so yeah i'll be taking out four inch this four inch i'm taking out here it's for the shoulder slant so i'll take my ruler and rule that out so i'll roll this out take note that this here is for the shoulder slant make use of four inch for the shoulder slant then i'll cut Please, if you've not subscribed to the channel, do well to click the subscribe button. You can check my bio for my social media link for you to follow me up on Instagram and Facebook to see my works. So you can go to the go click the link on my bio. And I'm more focused on how to cut the neckline today but this actually you should know this if you know how to cut a senator wear if you don't i'll probably drop a video on how to cut a senator wear so i'll drag that down cutting a senator wear the back is always longer by four extra four inch so that's why the back was like that so after dragging it down this is what you get here so four inch four inch so when you do it that way it's comes out perfect so <clears throat> please drop your comments i would really like to see your comments on this video tell me if you've benefited anything from it tell me what you want tell me what you think about the video let's improve together so yeah as you can see here so you fold this here these procedures are actually why cutting a senator where I might emphasize less on it because i'm focused on the cutting of neck so here you take out extra half inch that extra half inch that I took out the that i placed there is for the joining of the shoulder while joining the senator together so that's why i'm keeping that the overlap the overlap of the back to the front is half extra half inch so that will be for the station why you want to join it so that's it there so you press you make use of your cooler this wooden cooler here is very important if you don't have it you can probably get a sample of this take a picture then show it to a carpenter it will do for you so it's very important we all need it so as you can see here i cut this out so this is what we have now so today i will be working with next 16 but during the procedure i'll emphasize on how you can get neck 15 and neck 17 and so on and so forth so it's simple you just have to, have to add so this year this is what we have here so i'll be working on next 16. so pay close attention to this so i'm about going to the neck so you see here i'll be taking out i will be taking five inch from the edge you see where i started the tape from at the edge so i'll take out five inch five inch take note i'm cutting the next 16 so i'll take out five inch then here yeah, i'll be taking out two and a half two and a half so two and a half so i do here so i'll be taking out two and a half so pay attention to what i'm about to do so i'm actually shock using the shock here so you can have more understanding and more direction on what to do usually i will just cut this out without shocking it so i'm actually shocking it so that i have more understanding so usually i will cut this out without even making use of shock so the most important part of the neck cutting this is the most important part so you have to focus on this look at how i cut the curve so this getting this curve you don't you don't need any measurement so you just have to pay attention on how i cut my curve except you are making use of a neck curve you are making use of this neck curve ruler if not you pay attention to what i just did here you look at how i follow up on how i made that curve follow up on how i made that curve that's the most important thing about a perfect neck that curve is very important for you to get that accurate curve 
so please click the subscribe button if you have not drop your comments you can actually follow me up on instagram at parent clothing parent underscore clothing you can check the link on my bow click the link on my bow so this right here what i did right here is just to direct to give you a good direction so this actually is straight now so you won't be cutting at that exact straight line you go down a bit one eight you go down one eight then you curve then you get that curve if you confused on what one eight is on your tape you go back to the starting of the video you i dropped a the measure out to calculate the measurements in the tape so you see one eight there then you can get your shoulder here and that so if you are cutting a neck of if you are cutting a neck of 17 so this is what you do where you add where you where i made it five inch you make it you add one eight to the five inch so that's straight let me just show you how it will operate here so what i was saying is if you are cutting the neck of 17 you add one eight if you are cutting a neck of 15 you remove one eight so but the two and the half i use there is always constant you can use that constant so this is what you got there you see it's, it's, it's so with this you have a perfect neck thanks for working watching i hope to see you back i'll be dropping a lot of more interesting videos on how to make sewing and cutting easier that's what this uh, this channel is for make everything easy so thanks so let's go to the finished product so this is the, actually the finished product